Heart Awareness Month. I'm trying to fit this heart into the, in the screen. What's going on YouTube? I'm Make the Mix and your YouTube fitness coach and this month is the month of Heart Awareness Month. So what does that mean? Believe it or not, heart disease is one of the leading cause of death in both men and women. No one is safe. In the US alone, one in four deaths is caused by heart disease. Now don't get all down in the bow. We all don't have to die from heart disease as long as we take these preventative measures. It may be a hard choice, but it might be the best choice to make a healthy choice. Choice, 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 choice. choice. I really need to reword that. In this video, I'm gonna ask you to encourage others to help me help you raise awareness for a healthy heart. Now before I get started, make sure you share this video with all your social media, including your Instagram, your Facebook, you know, your Google, all that good stuff, your Twitter. Share it with everybody, because everyone needs to know this, okay? We're trying to prevent healthy hearts, and plus it helps my channel grow. Why not? <laughs> to give you a few ideas on how to reduce heart disease, the first thing you should do is not put salt on none of your foods. For one, it makes you look bloated. Two, it takes away the cuts in your muscles. All right, so if you all that work that you've been putting out in the gym, it's gonna go to waste because all the salt is covering those muscles up. So instead of using salt, why don't you try using spices to spice up your, your meals? An awesome idea one of my coworkers came up with is doing physical exercises during our stand-up meetings. Maybe you can bring that to your job or to your school or to wherever, you know, just to get yourself active and get people active going with you. I actually thought it was a good idea, so I decided to jump on the bandwagon. So now we're in a stand-up for like 15 minutes doing wall sits. So at the end of the day, my ass is like literally sweating because I'm doing other exercises at my desk or something like that. But it was so worth it. You know, you might have swamp ass for the whole day, but you know, you're gonna have a good workout. Another great thing you can do is check your pulse. This is gonna be an external way of measuring your heart rate on the go. It's also gonna give you a baseline for what's normal for you. The best time to check your heart rate is usually in the morning, but you can do it throughout the day. If you wanna know where you stand, the normal beats per minute for the normal person is gonna be 60 to 100 beats per minute. Now, if you're super active or maybe considered an athlete, your heart rate should be around 40 to 60 beats per minute. There's two places you can measure your heart rate. One could be right at your carotid, right under your jawline, or you can measure it at your wrist. Wrist. You can measure it at your wrist, right under the wrist. Not the wrist, but right under, right there. Right, right there. Can I get a zoom in? Right there. You're gonna use two fingers to measure the heart rate. The index finger and the middle finger. You're gonna hold either position for about 15 seconds counting each beat until that time passes up. Now when the 15 seconds are done, you're gonna multiply that number times four. So say for instance, in 15 seconds, you got 15 beats that you felt with your two fingers. You multiply that times four, you get 60. So that'd be your rested heart rate. That'd be your heart rate for the normal beating person. If you wanna find your maximum heart rate, you're gonna take 220, you can subtract your age from that 220. If you make it to your maximum heart rate, you probably wanna take a break from working out for about two or three minutes so you can get your heart rate down a little bit. If you wanna find your target heart rate, you're gonna multiply your maximum heart rate by 0.85. That's gonna be your magic number because that's gonna be the number where your body's gonna burn fat more efficiently and that metabolism's gonna start kicking into high gear. So now you have the tools. So now teach your friends, teach your coworkers, teach your family members to check their heart rate on a regular basis that we can die from something else other than heart disease. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got a lot from this. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. And if you have some other ways to reduce heart disease, you know, leave a comment in the comment box below and let me know your thoughts. I hope to catch you in the next video. Peace.